What's up? It's your boy, Gator Jewel. Can't be no motherfucking fool, man. I'm here with my boy. You know, you know, Black Migo in the building. Ho for 48, I'm a trap, I'm nigga. Trap. Bossed up, put the city on the map, on nigga. Map. Getting money every day, yeah, I'm dead, nigga. I'm dead. In the streets, I done made like six like figures. Six. You know, nigga grew up, turned real, killer, killer. In the spot, getting rich with my Migo. Migo. Niggas not bottom, they shoot the free throws. Free throw. Fuck a hoe, wrap it up, no burrito. no burrito. You know what I'm saying? He is one of the rising young talents out of Fort Worth, out the DFW area. I'm not even going to shortchange him like that. Out the uh, DFW area. You know what I'm saying? I basically just want to know uh, what got you into rapping, man. Shit, I fell in love with the music since I was like three, four years old, just mumbling in front of a phone, you know. So just, you know, watching myself progress from there, I kind of wanted to see how far I could take it. Well, we got that straight up. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of how far you could take it, I remember you telling me um, shortly before we started the interview um, that basically a year ago, uh, it was completely different type of climate for you. And now you're kind of like reaching these new heights. How's that feeling for you? You know, it's a different feeling. Everybody wants to, you know, give me a call. I'm doing different shows. You know, everybody wants a song. You know, everybody, you know, anticipation goes up for everybody. They want to see me. I got a lot of performances on the way, too. So, you know, it's different from what, a year ago where I was recording in the closet, you know, dropping my own music, and it's kind of different. I got a little bit more help now. So more quality, new quality, better quality. More on the way, so... Yeah, man, keep saying that, man. More on the way, man. He not letting up. He not letting the foot off y'all niggas' neck. You know what I'm saying? So what would be your inspirations? Like, what were your inspirations? I know, I know you said you were mumbling in front of the phone, but what were the inspirations? What were you listening to? I really listen to everything, you know, different genres. Not just, you know, rap. You know, I listen to music in general, so I got a heart for that. I like country, Mexican music, rap music, all that. And I just like the vibes, you know. You go somewhere and they play a song, you know, it changes your whole mood, or, you know, the way you think, the way you act. So I kind of like that about it. Yeah, man, that shit's all psychological, you know what I'm saying? He said he here for the for what makes you feel good, you know what I'm saying? Crazy. I go to college for psychology too. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, that's that's a that's definitely a way into people's minds. You know what I'm saying? Right there, and you're gonna be making music, so you're gonna be able to hit those heartstrings that other people, you know, what I'm saying, couldn't. A lot of other rappers have, I think, telecommunications or communications degree. So, psych, that's crazy. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's crazy. Yeah, that's definitely different. Um, Black Migo. So, how did you get the name Black Migo? And I know you had a couple other artist names. So why did you change? Or, you know what I'm saying? What made Black Migo stick? Well, Black Migo came from me just being black and Mexican, honestly. I I'm biracial, so I'm black and Mexican. So, I used the black for the first, and then Amigo for the second. So, Black Migo, it all come together. Then my previous name was Lil 3. I'm the third of my name. So I'm the third. So that's kind of where the three come from. But my universal industry name is Black Migo. Black Migo, man. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out all my black and Mexican folks out here. We is not, you know what I'm saying, the only folks out here. We got a lot of us out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so shit, goddamn. Uh, you say you were performing. Let's go ahead and get that out the way. Where will you be performing? Uh, you said somewhere this week. Where would you be performing? I'll be performing Sunday at Gave the Jewelry. This will be the recent concert I will be having. So y'all make sure y'all come pop out and show your boy love. Yeah, man, it's live on Vine, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have food, drinks, music, clothes, whatever the fuck y'all want to do. We're going to have it. You know what I'm saying? Um, y'all fuck with your boy Blake Migo. Y'all will pull up some support. So let's get Y'all got to. It's, it's, it's Fort Worth shit. You know what I'm saying? Murder Worth shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, give us, you know what I'm saying, your ads. Uh, if there are any recent projects, drop that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because we want to know. We want to know where to find you and where to know um, basically where to get the good music at. Okay. Um, YouTube. Spotify, SoundCloud, you know, Apple Music is Black Migo, B L A C K, it is M I G O. My Instagram is Migo Two Black, M I G O, the number two, B L A C K, and that's where y'all can find all my content, music, and more shit on the way. Let's go. Oh well, shit, goddamn, it's nice to meet my boy Black Migo. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn, we gonna sign out. It's your boy Gabe, the Jewel. Can't be no motherfucking fool, man. See y'all on Sunday. Peace.